Hi there. Guess what? Somebody put a bug in my ear saying that you are interested in a career in EMS, but you really don't know where or how to get started or even if you can get started. But guess what? I'm here. My name's Tom and I'm here to help you get into EMS as a career. So let's go ahead and let's get started looking at it. So, the first question we have is EMS right for you? And I'd like to say more than likely it is. If you're sitting here watching this video and you're interested in it, something has sparked you to want to go down the road to become an EMT and to help people in your community, in your family, at your workplace, your job. There's so many things you can do in EMS. So if you are just afraid that the only thing you'll be doing is working on an ambulance, well, guess what? I'm here to tell you that's not the case anymore. Back in the day, maybe so, but now the profession has opened up to endless or countless possibilities. For example, you can work on an ambulance, and a lot of people love to do that. The majority of people are going to do that. You get a lot of experience. You can help a lot of people there. You meet a lot of people. You make a lot of good relationships and bonds with other people, with firefighters, police officers, dispatchers, nurses, doctors, other EMS professionals, and other people throughout your community and people look to you for leadership and for safety in your community and they honor you and respect you for what you do there's also you could become a firefighter same thing who doesn't look at firefighters as heroes everybody does and firefighter being a firefighter is a extremely important position in every community and firefighters touch so many people in their communities. Some communities have rescue operations where they have a dedicated rescue squad and those individuals go out and they extricate people from automobile accidents, help rescue them from down buildings, uh, water rescues, countless options there. You also have helicopter EMS if you want to be a flight medic. That's something, hey, I've got some experience there. I did that for many years. It's a very rewarding career, and you get to do a lot of, of things and learn a whole lot of advanced skills and get to be able to deploy those skills to save a lot of people. Then, especially one thing that is huge right now, public health, helping people get through these pandemics and the viruses, administering vaccines, treatments, testing, and doing things to help prevent the transmission of not just COVID, but other types of diseases out there. Um, we also have the hospital emergency department. You could work in the hospital as an, as an emergency department technician or an ER tech. They do a lot of stuff and help a lot of people and learn a lot of skills in their job. You also can work in urgent care centers. Maybe not as high speed or as demanding as the emergency department, but still very demanding and very rewarding there. Orthopedic centers. Orthopedic surgeons love to use EMS personnel to help in their practices as well. And one thing that's kind of obvious is law enforcement. There's a lot of law enforcement officers out there who got their start in EMS. Or there's law enforcement officers who are taking EMS to help further their career for things they do. I know another thing that I did in my career is I used to be a SWAT medic. And that was a huge jump into from working on the ambulance to doing something new. It was very rewarding, very cool, and a lot of fun. So from there, you can go into dispatch. Dispatch, very demanding job, very rewarding, has its ups, has its downs. But at the end of the day, you are helping a whole lot of people. You are the key to get the right resources and right people to people who are in need. Another thing you can do is go into military. Once again, I got my start in the military as a combat medic. So you can use these skills to transfer into the military if you want. Or if you're in the military and you're wanting to get out and you're wanting to take those military skills, you can use this as that launch pad to 
develop those military skills into civilian skills because they're not the same. And I have a little experience there myself. There's also private military contractors out there where you can go overseas and you can work with um, these groups out there that are building hospitals who are doing aid stations in some very bad zones of areas where there's a lot of disease or a lot of people needing a lot of help or a lot of people needing food, refugees, and so on like that. I also have industrial safety teams. These are people who work at plants like, you know, we can say General Mills or Nishimbo or Hitachi or anything like that where you would be the first responder in that plant. But also these safety team personnel, they're doing safety checks, they're training other people in first aid, CPR, and they're running health checks on people as well. You have large event medical services where that's where people are working football games like the Atlanta Falcons, the Atlanta Braves, or Georgia Bulldogs, or any type of large sporting event or concerts as well, or just any type of large event. So a big one that is gaining popularity are these races like marathons and stuff like that. So they have to have dedicated medical personnel there to help in case either the the spectators get hurt or the athletes get hurt as well. And then there's a big one that is huge here in the Atlanta area right now, and it is the set medic. And what is a set medic? That's somebody who's working in the movie industry so that if a stuntman gets hurt or if an actor gets hurt, they're there to provide care. Not just the actors, but also the ancillary staff, like the the carpenters and welders and other people there. They're there to provide that type of care. Now, I do want to say this. This is not something that's all inclusive, all right? There are a lot of options out there, and this list is ever-changing. People are taking EMS skills and developing them into their own niche, and you could take this and do your own thing with it as well out there. So don't think that you're put into a corner with only one thing to do, you have a lot of growth opportunity out there to do this, all right? So another big question that people ask is, hey, is anybody hiring out there? And I would like to say the answer is an outstanding yes, they are. People are calling us almost every other day. Hey, when's your next class graduating? Can we come talk to them? Can we send you flyers? Do you know of any students who are looking for a job? Right now, the field is wide open. And with that field being wide open, that has opened a lot of doors. And it has also increased pay. Pay has, is on a steady basis going up, 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 because they're trying to get more people in the field. So you would be entering this field at an opportune time where wages are good, opportunity is even better for you as a person. So, do you have time for this? That's another big question, right? Do I have time? Because I'm busy. I've got children, maybe. I've got another job because I still got to pay my bills. Maybe I'm going to college somewhere else so that I can go to med school. Maybe I'm a pre-med student or a pre-nursing student. Can I integrate this into my life? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Our program basically meets one day a week. Now, there's some weeks where you don't meet in person, but I like to tell people plan on one day a week because even if we're not meeting in person, you could use that one day a week as dedicated study time at home. Or you can work it out the way you need to. But our lectures are online. You can watch those lectures 24 hours a day, seven days a week around your schedule. Exams, yeah, some exams, you know, if you're in a traditional class, have a due date. But you don't have to wait until that day to take it. You can take it when it works around your schedule up to that due date. One program that we have that is very, very popular is the Flex program. The Flex program gives you a coach that helps guide you through the program. But guess what? 
you are in more control. You have maximum control of this class. You are working with a coach to set due dates. You're working with a coach to set up labs. You will work together to mutually figure out a good day that works for both of us to get that done. So it gives you that flexibility to work this into your busy schedule, your busy lifestyle, and so on. So basically what we like to say is if you've got time to sit at night and watch TikTok for one hour, you got enough time to watch lectures for an hour, to get your schoolwork done for an hour. You can fit this in to your life more than you think you can. So, hey, I hope that's got you, got you wondering a little bit. I hope that's got you thinking, man, I can do this because I know you can. I'm 100%. 100% know that you can get this done. So, hey, what do you need to do? Next step, contact us. I've got a dedicated staff of admissions professionals that know exactly how to guide you into the program that is perfect for you. We've got flexible program options. We've got flexible payment options that can help you with your tuition. And before you know it, you're going to be an EMT working in the field in a new career that's rewarding, fulfilling, and most important, going to change your life. So let's go ahead and let's take that next step. Contact us. You can reach out to us on the web at georgiaemt.com or you can email us at info at gaiems.com or give us a call at 678-561-2368. That's 678-561-2368. And we will be glad to help guide you into the program that's going to be perfect for you. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. See ya.